As we study organic chemistry, we'll see that a number of the reactions can be described by acid-base properties of the compounds involved. This is especially true in biological systems in which a number of the acids and bases are based on organic compounds. So it would help to have an understanding of acids and bases, and much of this information is similar to material you would have learned in your general chemistry classes. To begin with, you should recall the definition of a Bronsted-Lowry acid and base. According to this definition, an acid is any compound that acts as a proton or hydrogen ion donor. On the other hand, a base is a compound that acts as a hydrogen ion or proton acceptor. Another way of looking at this is that any compound that has a hydrogen may act as an acid, and any compound which has a lone pair of electrons on an atom may act as a base. Now, even though we can make those generalizations, we'll see that some compounds will be stronger acids or have a tendency to donate a proton, and other compounds will be more likely to accept a proton. In this acid-base equilibrium equation, we see that we have hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid reacting with water to produce the chloride ion and the hydronium ion. In this situation, when we're moving from left to right, the reactants are hydrochloric acid and water. When we compare the reactants to the products, we see that the hydrochloric acid loses a hydrogen ion so that means that the hydrochloric acid is donating a hydrogen ion and must be acting as an acid. The water, on the other hand, is going from two hydrogens to three, which means that from the reactant to the product side, the water accepted a hydrogen ion, and so the water is acting like a base in this particular reaction. If we were to switch our focus now and consider this reaction moving from right to left, we would see a different pair of acids and bases. Moving from right to left, we see that the hydronium ion has three hydrogens and the water has two. So moving from right to left, the hydronium ion would be acting as an acid. On the other hand, the chloride ion with many lone pairs of electrons would be gaining a hydrogen ion. So from right to left, the chloride ion would be acting like a base. When we look at an overall acid-base reaction, we notice, for example, in the case of water and hydronium ion, that they're related because they're essentially the same structure, but they differ by one hydrogen ion. On the other hand, the hydrochloric acid and the chloride ion are also related, but differ only by one hydrogen ion. In an acid-base reaction, those compounds that differ by only one hydrogen ion are known as conjugate acid-base pairs. In a conjugate acid-base pair, the compound that has more hydrogen ions is going to be the acid of the conjugate acid-base pair, and the compound with fewer hydrogens will be the base component of the conjugate acid-base pair. In this acid-base equilibrium equation, we see that one compound, the acetic acid, donates a hydrogen ion to the water, which acts as a base. The two products we get are hydronium ion, which is a conjugate acid of water, and the acetate ion, which is the conjugate base of acetic acid. Now you might recall from general chemistry that we could write an equilibrium constant expression for any equilibrium equation. In this situation, we have the hydronium ion concentration and the acetate ion concentration on top, since those are the products, and the reactant concentration of the acetic acid on the bottom. You should recall that if the forward reaction is favored, we would expect that at equilibrium, we would have a higher concentration of products and a smaller concentration of reactants, and that the value of the Ka, or the acid dissociation constant, would be greater than one. 
this would be the situation if the acid on the reactant side or on the left hand side is a stronger acid than the acid on the product side. Since in this equilibrium we see that the forward reaction is favored over the reverse reaction, that means that acetic acid is a stronger acid than the hydronium ion. As we study organic chemistry, it will be useful to have a way to compare the different compounds for their acidity. We could look at the Ka value for the different compounds when they're dissolved in water. However, organic chemists like to use a different value, the pKa, to compare the relative acidity of different organic compounds. The pKa, you should recall, is found by taking the negative log of the Ka value. Overall, we see that the smaller the pKa value, the stronger the acid. While the Ka or pKa can be used to compare the acidity of compounds, when we have a solution, you should recall that we use a different measure for the acidity of the solution, and that is the pH. You should recall that the pH of a solution is the negative log of the hydronium ion concentration in that solution. Furthermore, as the pH of the solution decreases, the solution is more acidic.